Hello and welcome to Mishkukum. Uh, I am Greg Deckler and today I'm going to be covering uh, how to use evaluate and log the new DAX function uh, along with SQL profiler. Um, there's some tricks to getting it set up. It's not really well documented. It kind of assumes a lot that you know SQL profiler and a bunch of other information. So I'm going to show you, walk you through how to get it set up, how to get it working uh, so that you can use it uh, for yourself. Uh, before we do that, real quickly, I'm going to cover the two additional new DAX functions that were released along with Evaluate and Log, uh, to CSV and to JSON. So as you can see on the uh, on the page here, I've got my two CSC two CSV measures, um, and they're pretty simple to use, right? You know, do a two CSV and then you specify a table, and that returns this. So you get your table column headers, uh, and then your data. Uh, and then you can actually use a filter table as well. So two CSV filter the table just for pickle. And now I just have my pickle information and filtered out the banana. Uh, two JSON works similarly, right? You can uh, again use either a table reference or a fil or a table expression. So here I've filtered. I've used two JSON and I filtered out to my pickle and it comes back with this kind of information. Uh, so your header and your columns that are in the table or it gives you a row count and gives you the data. I'm not really sure of the use for uh, two JSON and two CSV or if they were somehow necessary for getting evaluate and log to work um, or if there's some grander scheme behind these two functions because they don't seem particularly useful uh, really. Um, there's not a really a, any, any kind of parsing functionality in DAX uh, to parse CSV files or parse uh, JSON files or anything like that. Maybe I'm missing something, but maybe there's a use case for two CSV where you could actually have a measure return a column name. I've seen that in the forums uh, a few times, people requesting that, hey, they want to return a column name as part of a, a DAX measure. So maybe there's a use case there. Maybe there's something that you could do to replace the commas with uh, pipe characters and turn it into a uh, you know, I don't know. It's interesting. That's all I'm going to say about it. Um, but that's that. This is what they do. Okay. Evaluate and log. So evaluate and log um, is really simple to use in terms of a DAX. So you can wrap any kind of statement uh, with evaluate and log, and then it's uh, supposed to then log that information to um, to SQL Server. Uh, and you can use the SQL Server Profiler to uh, actually view what Evaluate and Log returns. OK, so but how do you actually do that? <laughs> well, let's get into it. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you kind of the manual way and some of the uh, pitfalls you might run into. And then I'll show you hopefully what uh, you will agree is a is a really easy way to use uh, SQL Profiler and Evaluate and Log together um, here a little later in the video. OK, so. First thing, you know, OK, I'm supposed to use SQL Profiler, so you might go find SQL Profiler on my machine. It is located here in Program Files x86, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio, and then Common 7, and then you have Profiler.exe is the application. And of course, to get this installed, you need to install SQL Server Management Studio. That would be step one of getting your profiler if you don't have it already. All right, so, you know, OK, so let's just fire up a profiler here. So you get a screen like this, OK, and then you need to go and connect to your analysis services tabular cube, right? So I'm, I'm going to say, OK, I'm going to create a new trace. And you would pick analysis services here. And then you might want, you know, you might be wondering, OK, where, how do I connect? It doesn't show up here my local desktop analysis services cube. Well, one way to get this information is if you're using an external tool like uh, Enterprise DNA, uh, Quick Measures Pro, or any, really any of the Enterprise DNA uh, external tools that I've built for Enterprise DNA, or even if you're using uh, the free, some of the free versions that are out there for Mishkokum, they all have this, uh, this line right here at the top. I always include in the header. And the data source equals localhost in this case, 52375, um, that is your server, OK? And then the catalog, the initial catalog, that is your database. So what you can do is you can copy this over here like this, Control-C, 
we go back to well our SQL profiler. There it is. We can paste that in as the server name. And then you can have you can select connect. Maybe. I close this out and reopen it at some point. I might have. I probably have. OK, let's do this again. Let's make sure first off we save this. Get this open. Let's close this. Cancel that. Let us go to external tools, launch quick measures pro. Oh, it looks like it's the same. Why was that having problems connecting? Oh, well, probably because I was saying database engine. Now let's try it. There we go. OK, so this is what you're going to get. Sorry about that. Um, So what you see here is we're connecting. We're using Microsoft Analysis Services 16, 16.0.53. And then what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go and go and subscribe to the DAX uh, evaluation log. Now, if you look through here, this is using a standard template. Uh, the DAX evaluation log doesn't appear anywhere. So what you have to do is you have to say show all events. And you scroll down here. And you and there's the DAX evaluation log. And so what you can do is you can select that and then say run. Right, so here we have it. And now if I go back to my. And let's see, the easiest way to do this is to view my performance analyzer, start recording, refresh my visuals, and then go back to SQL Profiler. And so there you can see DAX Evaluate and Log. And here it's, you know, this is what it returns in JSON format, uh, the data. And you can see the output is 21, which matches the measure that we created. So now I've had some ups and downs with the, the SQL Server Profiler and doing it this way. In some cases, I would connect to um, my server and I wouldn't get the option uh, for, um, so if I stop this and then go to properties, event selection, there were a lot of cases where I wasn't getting this DAX evaluation log as, a, as an option, even after, even after connecting in SQL Server Profiler and, and all of that. So um, what I one other way that I was able to get this working uh, properly, but if that works for you, that's great. Uh, one other way that I was getting this to work properly, and I'm not sure why that, I have multiple copies of that open. Uh, let's close this. So you can also connect through analysis services in SQL Server Management Studio. You can again paste in that local host, you can say connect, go to databases, there's that database ID. Click on the database, go to SQL Server Profiler, again brings up Profiler, says connect. Yep, 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 event selection. Again, if we show all events, there's our DAX evaluation log, we can select it and run it and it's the same, same thing. OK, so but yeah, and that's a you know, it's kind of a pain. Uh, you need to go in and, and find out what your local host string is uh, for your server and all of that sort of fun stuff. Um, so can we avoid all of that sort of thing? Well, the answer is yes. And what you can do is what, what I did was I actually set this up. I set up SQL Profiler as an external tool in my ribbon. And it's pretty easy to do this and I'll have this JSON file um, actually out on the, uh, the Microsoft Hates Greg uh, GitHub repository, the J, you know, this file right here uh, that you can put into this directory. So this is the kind of the default. So if you have any external tools installed, it should create a program files x86, common files, Microsoft shared, Power BI desktop, external tools directory. And this is where you just plop in your JSON files, properly formatted JSON files, and it allows you, and then they show up here in the ribbon. So well, this, 
does is uh, pretty simple. Again, I'll have this out so you don't have to memorize all of this, but this is your, your format for your JSON file for external tools. As you can see here, I've named it SQL Profiler, given a description of SQL Profiler. This is the path to my profiler.exe. You have to double, you know, double back, uh, double backslash uh, because, a, you know, to escape the backslash character in JSON. And then here is arguments. I have a slash A. So that's uh, that's your command line argument for connecting to an analysis services server. And then your percent server parameter and then your slash D, which is your database and then the database. And then I have this icon data and that's base 64 and all that. All right, so what you can then do now is now what I can do is I can sit here and just click on SQL Profiler. And it pops up and it's, I'm, I'm immediately connected to my desktop analysis services um, service. Now, what you have to do here, though, is you have to click on stop. Click on your properties. And then show all events. And then here's your DAX evaluation log again. You can select that and then hit run. And now you've got a new session. And again, if I go back to here, I stop this, start recording, refresh the visuals. Go back to my SQL profiler there again is my evaluation log. So I think that's a little bit easier. Uh, you don't have to you know, go searching around for your server name. I did try to create a template file. Um, so SQL profiler allows you I can say save as and then a trace template. Um, I did try saving this as a trace template, um, but again, I ran into some of those issues around, it, even though I have my DAX evaluation log selected, when I saved it as a trace template and then tried to use that um, because you can actually specify a template. And I created this, this version, where I had the DAX evaluation log. Oh, properties, I wanna actually look at it. Open with notepad. So you can specify a slash T for a template. And then I had saved my uh, DAX evaluation log as uh, .tdf. Um, it didn't seem to work uh, where it, it was automatically selected. So for example, when I went, maybe it'll work now because who knows, I select SQL profiler and it brings up here. You see, it still is asking for a template even though I specified one. So I specify the template. I say go to and see it didn't it didn't save the DAX evaluation log, even though I had it selected when I saved that template. So I'm not quite sure um, what was going on there, um, but uh, maybe if somebody can get the profile to work uh, with a template that already has DAX evaluation log pre-selected, um, you know, great. Um, but that's really all for this video. Um, so hopefully that uh, helps. Anyone that is struggling with trying to get evaluate and log and SQL profiler working, hopefully this helps them. And uh, that's all for this video. So have a good day and I'll see you next time.